guys, it's Jocelyn Delk Adams, AKA Grand Baby Cakes, and we are back in the kitchen with another fall pie, y'all. Are y'all sick of pie yet? Probably not, pie is great. We, we're never sick of pie. Are you familiar with egg pie? It is a Southern delicacy. It is made with incredibly simple ingredients, but the end result is just magical. It sets up like a perfect custard and you will not believe your taste buds when you taste this. It was definitely my big mama's favorite pie for a reason and I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. Let's get started. So to start, we've gotta begin on our filling. This is really an easy pie to make, but the ingredients need to be just perfect. So we're gonna start by adding some milk. and also some butter to our pot here, and we're just gonna let everything melt down together. And then just let all of these ingredients start to mix together. So now I'm going to get to the rest of my filling. I've got some room temperature eggs. I'm gonna add this into my mixing bowl here. And then I've got some granulated sugar that's also gonna go in. And then I've got a little flour because I wanna use that as a thickener to really let this custard set up when it bakes. And then of course I've got some vanilla because I love vanilla. Y'all know how much I love vanilla and I put it in like everything. So you know it's gotta go in this pie too. And then finally I've got a little spice. I've got some nutmeg. And then I'm just gonna whisk all of this together. This is nice and smooth now. And this is kind of like how it should look, the beginning of your egg custard here. And then I'm just gonna drip this right into this this mixture right here slowly and continue to whisk it in. Since we're dealing with eggs, and if this is still a little slightly warmed, you wanna make sure that you don't do it too quickly so you can just temper the eggs with a little bit like here so you can bring it right up to temperature. And then you can just drip in the rest and it should be totally fine. Now I'm going to pour our mixture directly into our pre-blind baked pie. Now, you guys can check out all of my previous videos where I show you exactly what I do to prepare this. And then I also have a full video on how to actually make this easy pie crust as well. But it's prepared and ready to go. And then I'm just gonna pour this right on in, y'all. Okay. So here is our beautiful egg pie. I am pretty sure my big mama would be so proud of this. This is that classic, incredibly pure and simple flavor that just bakes up into perfection. Okay, you will want this on your holiday table. And the more I'm talking about it, the more I wanna take a slice of it. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at this perfect custardy center. It has set up so beautifully. It looks so luscious and creamy and smooth. And look how perfect that pie crust is. It's still got that flakiness and that crisp bottom that's gonna be the perfect offset to this creamy filling. Ready to taste it? Let's do it. Mmm. This just, this reminds me so much of my big mama. It just tastes so lovely. It's got all of those wonderful notes of the Southern pie that is, like I said, a Southern delicacy. It's got that creaminess, that crunch, just all of the flavors come together. I'm just like, mm, I just wanna go into this. It is just so perfect, y'all. 
and you can see the inside of it, it the lusciousness. This is just such a holiday treat. You can make it year round. Like I said, you can put this on the Sunday supper table, okay? And impress everybody. And then you can enjoy this for the holiday season. If you want the recipe, make sure you head to growingbabycakes.com and leave me a message, leave me a star rating, and leave me a comment over here and tell me what you think. Also, make sure that you subscribe so you can keep getting these incredible videos week after week. I hope you enjoyed baking this up with me because I had a great time. I will see you next time.